we're at lesson 4.3a where we're going to be modeling dividing mixed numbers and we're going to talk about using reciprocals to divide mixed numbers. So as many of you know, a mixed number is a number that is made up of a whole number that is not zero and a fraction. Three and a half is a mixed number. We can model mixed number division with fraction strips or bar models. We have 1 and 1 fourth divided by 1 eighth, and it's telling us the quotient is 10. We model 1 and 1 fourth, then we line up pieces to match the length of 1 and 1 fourth, little 1 eighth pieces, because that's the divisor. We can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 eighths in one whole. And then we have two little eighths. That's 10 pieces that are 1 eighth each. The quotient is 10. Here we have a word problem, and it reads, Tala has 5 and 1 third cups sugar. She needs 2 thirds cup sugar to make a batch of cookies. So that would be one batch of cookies. How many batches of cookies can Tala make? So she has five and one third cups of sugar. Each batch is two thirds cup. We need to see how many two thirds fit into five and one third. This is a division problem because we're trying to find how many two thirds are in five and one third. We color in one hole, two, three, four, five, and one third. And then we make groups that contain two thirds because that's the divisor. We have two thirds circled here. We have one two thirds here. Two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, two thirds. And we do it and we can count the groups. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups containing two thirds. She can make eight batches of cookies. We can divide mixed numbers by rewriting them as a fraction greater than 1. Remember, that means the numerator is going to be greater than the denominator, and then multiplying them by the reciprocal of the divisor. We write 5 and 1 third as a fraction greater than 1. We do 5 times the denominator 3, that's 15, and we add the numerator, that's 16, and we use that denominator, so we have 16 thirds. Then we multiply it by the reciprocal of the divisor. And since that's 2 thirds, the reciprocal is going to be the flipped upside down version of that as 3 halves. Now we can multiply straight across or we can use GCF and cross canceling and simplify the equation first. We have a 16 and a 2 and their greatest common factor is a 2. And we have 8 times 2 is 16, so we cross the 16 out and write an 8 there, and we have a 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, so we cross the 2 out and we make a 1, because they have 2 in common as a greatest factor. Going this way for cross-canceling, we have a 3 and a 3, and we can use 3 as the greatest common factor, so we have 1, 3 here and 1, 3 here, so they both cancel out as 1s. Now we can just multiply. 8 times 1 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, and 8 over 1 is equal to 8. If both terms of the division equation are mixed numbers, we can rewrite both terms as fractions greater than 1. We rewrite the equation as multiplication using the reciprocal of the divisor, and we simplify the equation using the greatest common factor and cross-canceling. So we have 4 and 4 fifths divided by 1 and 1 third, we do 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4, that's 24. We use that denominator 5, we have 24 fifths. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. Over that denominator, we have 4 thirds. Now, we use the reciprocal of this 4 thirds as 3 fourths. We flip it around, and now we multiply instead of divide. And we can see, going across this way, that 24 and 4 have 4 as their greatest common factor. So we can cross this off as 1 4, and we can cross this off as 6 4s. Now we have 6 times 3 is 18, and 5 times 1 is 5. We couldn't cross cancel this way because 3 and 5 don't have a 
common factor. We have 18 fifths, which simplifies to 3 and 3 fifths. We simplify this as 18 divided by 5. How many 5s fit into 18? Three of them, and there's 3 fifths left over. We have 3 and 3 fifths. Now our quotient was 3 and 3 fifths for that equation. We can check our answers using multiplication because multiplication is the inverse of division. They undo each other. If you missed that lesson, it'll be linked in the description. So if this is correct, the quotient multiplied by the divisor should equal the dividend. We do 3 and 3 fifths times 1 and 1 third. We rewrite them as fractions greater than 1. We have 18 fifths times 4 thirds. No reciprocals here. We're multiplying. We can do 3 as a common factor for 3 and 18. We have 1 3 here, and we have 6 3s in 18. So that cancels out to a 1. That cancels out to a 6. They don't have a factor in common, so we leave them alone. Now we have 6 times 4 is 24, and 5 times 1 is 5. And 24 divided by 5, well, that's 4 and 4 fifths left over, and it matches our dividend, so yes, it's correct. Now I want to show you the difference between dividing a fraction by 2 and dividing it by a half. So here we have one whole strip. And here we have two one-third strips for two-thirds. We have two-thirds, and we want to divide it by two. If we divide two-thirds by two, we're going to have two one-third strips. We're going to have two groups of one-third. They're going to be, here's going to be one, here's going to be another. That's our two. And the quantity in each group is one-third. We have 2 thirds divided by 2 over 1. We write that as a fraction. Then we flip it around to its reciprocal so we can multiply straight across. We get 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. We can divide by the greatest common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. It's 1 third. It's telling us there's 1 third in each of these two groups. We could also cross cancel because we have a 2 here and a 2 here. We can cancel them as a 1. It's 1 times 2 and 1 times 2. Now we have 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. We still get 1 third, but instead of doing this, we simplified the equation. So 2 thirds divided by 2, the whole number, is equal to 1 third. Now look what happens if we do 2 thirds divided by 1 half. We have 2 thirds right here. That's our total the orange ones, okay? So let me move this one hole up because it's just here to let you know what one hole is, okay? It's not really part of the problem. So we have two-thirds and we want to divide it by one-half. That's going to be the quantity in each group. So we have one-half here and look, if we split this one-half into three equal parts, one of them will help us have one and one-third. We're doing two-thirds divided by one-half. We flip this around as it's reciprocal. We multiply straight across. Two times two is four. Three times one is three. We have four-thirds. We have one and one-third groups containing one-half. So we don't even have two full groups like we did over here. We have one and one-third groups, one and one-third groups containing one half. We have one, we have one third of this half. That's how we got one and one third. So there's a big difference between dividing by two and dividing by half. And I know this can be confusing. So if you need to rewind a couple seconds or a few minutes back to rewatch that again to get it, that's okay. So now we've finished this lesson. We're going to be moving on to 4.3b, the next part of this lesson, and we're going to talk about solving problems involving area. So remember, turn your mixed number into a fraction greater than 1, and remember to flip around that divisor so that when you multiply by the reciprocal, it's written correctly, okay? 
Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll know you understood because this was kind of difficult to understand for some. Bye.